Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome to a new video. I'm currently watching the video as I'm going ahead and recording and talking through it. Um, so today is going to be a push day. Okay, so we did a bit of a chest dominant push day. I made a clip about this a while back, basically kind of explaining how I go about, sorry about all the mess behind me too, if you can see it all. Um, if you guys are watching this video, I moved already. I'm out of Fairfax, I'm out of Washington, D.C., but uh, I'm currently in a new place, <laughs> um, wink, wink, and uh, yeah, so we went ahead and moved, or I, I moved on my own, um, but yeah, so today, this video was a, was from a snow day, okay, so we got like back-to-back -back days of snow, which is pretty uncommon for around here, but I, I know like this year, we're supposed to get a lot of snow. So nobody was at the gym. I forgot to bring my mic, my camera mic, so all this is shot on my iPhone. But this is a super raw, I actually didn't edit anything, completely unedited video because there was literally seven people at the gym this day. Um, but this is just gonna be a push day. I did a couple chest movements. I did, I think, two tricep movements and a um, shoulder movement, just a side delt. Um, lately at the gym, I've been kind of going away from free weights and I've spent, been spending more time on machines like you can see here. The reason why I'm doing that, um, I, and I even like when I say machines, I also kind of mean like cables, like a cable machine. To me, that's a machine um, just because you can, like the weights are hooked on like some type of uh, levy, I think for lack of better terms. Um, so there's, they're, they're placed in a certain position. Whereas free weights, that, that doesn't exist, right? So, you know, it, the weight's kind of floundering everywhere. <clears throat> so today, I, I to, so for, for this workout, I spent time on the, on the machine, this hoist machine. The hoist machines are pretty good. Um, we have these at foundation as well. But basically when you press forward, it goes backwards. So whatever uh, movement, whatever position your body's going, it does the opposite effect. Once again, I apologize for the mess, I, I'm moving. Um, but I did a lot of drop sets for this workout, which is something that I, for this specific day, it was snowing like crazy. I think we had like four or five inches already, and we got like two, three more inches overnight, and it's just going to continue to snow throughout this entire day. Um, because of that, I only spent about 25 minutes in the gym. I pretty much recorded almost everything, and everything I did was essentially a drop set. So I started out with that machine hammer or machine hoist press, and I think I did a drop set with that. If not, I definitely did do a drop set on this. Um, right now, this is kind of my favorite fly motion there is. Um, you can do a the regular stack. The stack is good, um, but I really like this machine. We have one of these at Foundation as well. I just love the placement of the handles. They're not too far back. Um, they're also not too far for like the arms are not too far in front of you and they're not too far behind you. They're kind of just at the perfect position. I have seen people kind of critique my form on these and I totally accept that. That's like whenever I work out, I'm totally down to get my form critiqued because there's no like perfect way to do anything. Like even if you, even if there are like specific cues that I tell my clients or if I'm just working out with somebody in my, in my free time, there are specific things that I think can make your form better, but we're all like anatomically different. Um, therefore, the way our joints and our muscles and everything move are completely different. Um, so like, like whenever I do a movement, I, I have a few cues. Um, so like for this one, uh, my, my biggest cue is act like you're hugging a tree keep your arms slightly bent, and just try to bring your pinkies together. So as you can see, when I'm doing these, I'm really trying to scoop my chest together, and I'm trying to bring my pinkies basically to overlap at the top. So it's, it's like that, right? That's what I'm doing here. And you can kind of see from this position that that's what I'm doing. I also go with a neutral grip, right? So a vertical grip the whole time. And as I'm coming forward here, I'm gonna slowly start scooping my chest. If you kind of like, if you put a hand, like you're watching this right now, put your hand out in front of you, shoulder height directly in front of you, and then just kind of rotate your palm so it's facing up, right? You can feel your chest just move ever so slightly. Flex your chest and do it, right? So it has a slight movement there. And for me, that just increases the range of motion for your chest, right? So whenever you're doing a movement, 
we really want to hit as many parts of the muscle as we possibly can. So that's why I, that's like one little tip that I like to do. Um, I like to do with that cable machine. I think this might be my only non-machine movement I did for the day. Um, it's it's one of my go-tos. Oh, hey, buddy. My dog is sleeping on the floor. Let me turn off this heat real quick. Oh, not put on the AC. Uh, turn it off. Yeah, this is one of like my only, I think this is the only free motion, uh, free weight movement I did, is the incline press. Uh, the incline chest press, I before this, I, I think I, for about a month, I was doing it just on the, uh, what's it called, the Smith machine. I love the Smith machine. Smith machine's awesome. The reason why I was doing the Smith machine, I haven't, I don't think I recorded it, but I was doing a lot of just straight like two failure. Like I would throw in two plates and I was doing like sets of seven to 10 on the Smith machine. Obviously the Smith machine's much easier. Um, you can press, you don't press as much weight. You put on more weight, but the weight's not as high because the bar doesn't weigh anything and you're in a nice path. And when you're in that path, instead of pushing into like the air, you're pushing against the machine. So that opposite force is going to push the weight up. It's like if you take one that has like the slight um, slant to it and there's one that's completely vertical. I like the one that has a little slant to it and that one was being taken pretty much the whole time I was there, which is not a big deal. I just decided what the heck, just to go with the regular uh, regular incline press. Um, you guys saw all the reps I did for my other two movements. This is a compound movement. Um, so usually I do front load my compound movements today. I decided not to. Today I decided to keep my compound movements for the last chest movement of the day. So as you can see, I did a 185 um, press. I think I did it for six reps, five or six reps. Um, not the best. My chest was, it was, it was pretty tight. Um, and I'm also, for the next video you guys watch, I'm, I, I'm, I don't want to say I'm changing up my diet, but I'm eating a certain way. Uh, for uh, My goal is for, throughout February. Um, I'll, next video, I'll go ahead and tell you guys about all that. It's going to be a full day of eating of uh, carnivore diet or, or keto, but most likely just carnivore. Um, so we actually went ahead and drop set this. We did the two sets. I think I did one warm up set and then I did one all out drop set here. A guy walking behind you right now. Really sweet guy, really nice guy. And it's so funny. There's like guys at the gym, like you, you would know this if you're like in the gym culture. There's people that you say hi to and you never know their names. But you can see right there, um, I did a drop set. Um, now this is something I would not recommend uh, just because one, it's dangerous. Don't go to the failure on uh, anything that is free weights unless you have a spotter or if the, I'm not gonna say this. Yeah, don't go to failure if you are using free weights. Just don't do it. If you have a spotter, it's a little bit, a little bit safer. But even in those situations, spotters can't help you if the weight just drops on you. And sometimes your spotter is not even strong enough to handle the weight, even with your assistance. So it's just something to be very wary on. So what I did there, don't do, but I do do it because with that weight, the 135, I could, you know, I could shoulder press that, I can power clean that. I basically, what I'm saying is to failure, I can put that weight on me and it, it doesn't bother me. Like, I'm not gonna panic when I have that weight on my chest. So as you can see, I just rolled it off my chest. That's not like something I, I, I would recommend, but it's something that I do when, because I don't like asking for spots unless, like I, a couple weeks ago, I asked for a spot on 225 on the incline, but that was because I, you know, I think, you know, I was just in decent, I was in a better mood. Um, so I asked this guy who's a strong dude, I asked, oh, there, okay, wow, that was cool. That's me doing a little dance there. Yeah, just dancing away. Um, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I'm not, I didn't cut any of this, so you guys are gonna see the raw, the raw workout. Um, yeah, so I did do a drop set there, and then I finished up with, I, I don't know how many I did, six, seven, eight reps, whatever. Um, and I just picked it up and took it off me. And then this machine right here, I did, a, I did a heavy drop set here. This machine right here, when it comes to shoulders, it is one of my favorite machines. I love, I almost don't even like doing dumbbell uh, lateral raises anymore. I will do a cable lateral raise, but because this machine, I look at everything else as like, ugh, like what is that? Because this thing, it just hits so well. It's such a good machine. And I did, I think I did a drop, yeah, okay, I'm suffering there. I did a drop set, and the way I did my drop set is I did, I think like 150 for, I don't know, like six, seven reps, and then I dropped it off, and then I did one set of 10 with like a 
one to two second pause at the top of the movement. And then on the way down, I did about a one to three second pause on the way down. So it was here, about a half second pause, one to two second pause here, and then like that. And it felt, it felt really good. Um, and then, yeah, so that was the only delt movement. So when I say push day, what I, what I essentially mean is just that. That's the only thing I did. Um, I do do shoulder press. I, I made a post, I, like I said at the beginning of this video, I do, I will do push days. But whenever I do push days, it's usually, it's usually twice a week. And on those push days, I will um, do a chest dominant push day and then a shoulder dominant push day. But I will always use, I, was always use, I will always do triceps towards the end of it. Um, the reason why I do that is just, one, I don't want to spend like, and I don't like spending more than like 40 minutes at the gym. It's just not my thing. Um, unless obviously I'm working, it's a different story. Um, but I just, you know, I feel like if you're going to do shoulders and chest and triceps, something has to give, right? So I want to give, I don't want to have overdeveloped chest because when I do chest and shoulders or when I do a push day, I focus so much on chest. I don't want to have overdeveloped shoulders because when I do a push day, I just focus on shoulders. So to me, just kind of make it a little bit easier. I go ahead and just cut the nonsense out and I'll go like uh, push day will be push day A will be a dominant chest and then push day B will be a dominant um, shoulder day. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But I will always use triceps and I always do triceps at the end. I know that's kind of contradicting what I said, but to me they're smaller muscle group. And sometimes if I'm like, if I've gone to the gym but I want to go back to the gym later that day, um, because I typically lift in the morning, my hat fell off my head there. Um, I will do an arm day. So sometimes I do like a touch up day. My touch up days are usually biceps, triceps, forearms. I do forearms. I don't think I've done a forearm work. I think I should do a forearm and calf workout um, because forearms to me are like the ultimate muscle to have. Forearms and sh wide shoulders and calves are it. But I'm coming down to the end of the video here. Uh, but I do want to say like all my fun one-off workout days, I'll do biceps, triceps, forearms, um, abs. I've, I've been doing abs a lot lately. And then I also will finish up with uh, adductors and abductors. Um, oh, and the tibias too. I've been in the tibia as well, which is the front, which is basically the muscle on your shin. But yeah, that, that's it guys. Um, I finished up with a really light drop set here. I hope you guys enjoy that video. Uh, thank you so much for understanding that it's on my phone. I appreciate that. And I will see you guys for the next video. Thank you so much and have a beautiful, beautiful day.